Uh, Ryan and I just got lost. We've been we've been hiking all day, and we're freaking deep in the desert. Deep, deep. No, we're not that deep. We're in Hidden Valley. <laughs> all right. Um, right next to the Reno Tahoe Airport, about five ten minutes. Real quick, off of Veterans Parkway. Guys, we're doing a deep dive into Hidden Valley, talking about the golf courses, the swimming pools, the hiking, hiking trails, dog parks. We got it all. We talk about coyotes. Yeah. We throw wild horses in there. Mm -hmm. Big old lizards. Uh, big freaking lizards. <laughs> we keep this one fun. If this is information you're looking for, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Welcome to the channel, guys. Or maybe welcome back to the channel. Welcome back. This is Ryan Chickvara. That is Joe Hannick. And we are doing all things Northern Nevada. What it's like to eat, sleep, play. Live, golf. Maybe. Golf today. Fly, hike. swim. All of it. You name it, we're covering it. So if this is your first time to the channel. You gotta ding the bell. Hit the bell, tap that subscribe button. Uh, Ryan and I, as much as we love putting out the content. Yeah. We're licensed real estate agents. Yeah, and that's what we love to do, right? Help people move into the area. Exactly. So if you're relocating, guys, um, you got to give us a shout, give us a call, email, text, whatever. It's us on that other end of the, the line there. Exactly. We're the guys answering it. Um, drop a comment down below if you love the video, if you love us, or if you hate us. Yeah, and make sure to check out our other videos. We've got tons of information out yep. there, whether it be our favorite events or just more neighborhoods. Exactly. Like this one. Right? Like what today. are we talking about today? Yeah, we're doing a deep dive into Hidden Valley, which is going to be uh, southeast of yeah. Reno, directly east of the Reno Tahoe International Airport. Uh, and it's, it's a hard neighborhood to break into. It's, yeah. it's a tough one. Again, we love it as well. So we figured we'd bring it to you guys. Yeah, let's get right after it. What do you want to talk about first? Real let's, estate? Yeah, let's go real estate. Let's go real estate. So when you're jumping into to Hidden Valley, homes are, uh, you know, the development started in the early 70s. Yeah. Um, and then you still have homes that are being built brand new right Currently, now. yeah. And, I don't... No, well, we don't have views of that one, but. And everything else in between. I mean, we've got single story ranchers. We have three story behemoths. Um, but the common theme of the area are bigger lots. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So we've got quarter acres, half acres, some of them on full acres. Over a full acre. Yeah. And some of them, right, if you're really hitting the jackpot, you're backing right up to the BLM land mm -hmm. um, right here. Great trail system. Uh, but as far as real estate, the least expensive home on the market currently is six fifty. Yeah, and that's a complete remodel with inside, right? Yeah, so. and a little bit smaller. It's on a third of an acre, three bedroom, two bath, about fifteen hundred square yep. foot. Um, it is nice, right? Fantastic. Love the home. The most expensive one on the market currently is at nine fifty. Um, that's your, I think it was a five bedroom, yeah, three and a, a half bath. That's a big boy, right? Yeah. I mean, that's going to be almost four thousand square foot, over half an acre. Um, that's with the big family, right? The RV parking, um, toys galore. This is definitely an outdoor, again, paradise that we talk about often. Yeah. Uh, but Hidden Valley is kind of known for that. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, look, you know, we're in the desert. Yeah. And so once you get back in there, it's real green and everything, for right? Sure. So, be, so we'll have B roll. The, yeah, yeah, being built in the 70s, you've got some of that older growth and everything like that. Yeah. But then you're five minutes away walking from being sort of in the hills and being able to do those hikes and all that sort of stuff. So. Definitely. And we're standing right in front of a um, little the, horse track, basically. a horse arena yeah. that, that kind of comes with the amenities here in right the neighborhood, Hidden Valley. But it doesn't look like it's been used in a while. No, we're and we're about what three minutes up the hill here from uh, the Lizio Dog Park. I yeah, believe it's called. yeah, yeah. It's a cool dog park, and uh, mother-in-law lives right in South Reno. Um, so we would always come to this dog park just because it was closer when we were living out here. Yeah. Um, as well, it's cool. It is fenced off, um, so it is separate. You got your big dogs on one side, little dogs on the other. Uh, again, it's just great that they have it for the neighborhood. Yeah. There's also a little park for the kids. Um, there's tennis courts. Yeah. And you name it, it's it's over here, right? And what about hiking? We got hiking, we I mean, you've got every, best both worlds, right? Yeah. So there's they call it the little perimeter trail that's within there. It's about two and a half miles. It's rated as easy on all trails. Um, estimated time is like 54 minutes to complete something Definitely, like that, which right? is great. To, you know, take the dogs on the leash and yeah. cruise it. And then there's uh, some other stuff in here as well at about four and a half miles. Yeah, that one's considered hard, and the elevation change there is. Uh, you know, 1,500 feet, I think. Definitely, and we so, can see it right behind us here. Yeah, you're going up the hill. You're moving. Yeah. 
and just the views. You can kind of see some of the views right here, Yeah. but the higher you go there, you've got views of all of Reno, and it's... I don't think the video today is probably gonna do it justice. No, but, it won't. I mean, you've got some, we've got filtered downtown views right now with just these trees, but yeah. um, gorgeous up here. Definitely, so. as far as wildlife goes, uh, <laughs> right when I pulled in, I, this damn little coyote that I saw was cruising the fence line of some houses, and I was like, oh, I could see chickens, right? Something. Yeah or somebody's dog and so um you know there's be aware you're yeah, gonna have no, coyotes out here this, this area right here is definitely deserty right you've got the coyotes i mean just on the tree next to us right here we've uh, that's one of the bigger lizards Big old i've lizard. seen in a minute but yeah you're gonna have lizards wild you know, horses um all over the place throughout in Valley. yeah so um and be aware yeah. you know the wild horses everyone out here we love them right so they've got signs up that are Dude, don't, don't feed, feed them, them. Yeah. You're obviously not allowed to kill them. Oh, so man. just yeah. Who eats horse meat? I don't know. But you know, they gotta put the they put the signs up for somebody. I don't know who, uh, for who, sure. who what person thought that, you know, it's in my front yard, I can do it. No, Definitely. you can't. Okay. And so when they were developing and putting together Hidden Valley, um, right, amenities wise, what are we looking at? Well, one of the main sort of jewels right within it, right, is Hidden Valley Golf Course. So I've got the, the hat Ooh, here. Shit. Was I there when you got that? Yep. Uh, Joe shot well that day. I'm pretty sure I shot pretty good. And I did not. Yeah, felt <laughs> uh, good. Felt but good. no, it's a it's a private course. Um, we did get info on that. And so I, it's 22,000 um, to As get a sign in, in, right? Yeah. To just start An in. Initiation fee. And then it's $595 a month after that, right? So obviously that's not for everybody. Yeah. You've got some options in Reno. Somerset is 5,000 and then sort of the same thing, 600 for their top tier per month. Um, but it is going to be cheaper than Arrow Creek, right? Which is another By far. golf course up yeah. here. So. And, and it's great. They've got a pool. They've got your tennis courts. We've got some B-roll of that as yeah, well, right? Recreation, Pickleball courts. Recreation area. Yeah. Um, and we've talked to a couple of members, and, right? We have some friends who are members out here. Um, you're not going to get the, the super fancy. Um, no. It's, it's your old sort of clubhouse feel, exactly. right? Exactly. The clubhouse is just – it's it's dated and what it is they're taking majority of the money they're bringing in and putting it towards the course yeah and so they redid the tennis courts they redid the pickleball courts yeah the course itself they were doing work uh sand traps are all brand name brand new sand right definitely uh, so, new cart paths all that sort of stuff yeah. right so so when we golfed it a couple months back i mean i will say it was in great shape oh yeah no uh, it fantastic. was a super fun course great time and sort of you know your old school feel for lack of a better way to describe it kind of like a little caddy shack type definitely you know? oh for sure um definitely as far as uh, hoas go uh some of the homes are gonna have an hoa with just zero amenities right mm -hmm. it's gonna cover the park the hiking trails things like that throughout hidden valley um but there's some homes that aren't inside of that hoa and don't have an hoa fee and then uh we did just notice some homes closer to veterans parkway um, a very select few are actually part of Rosewood Lakes HOA. Yeah, and that one typically Rosewood Lakes is closer, Near like you Lola. said. Yeah, on out the that other way. yeah on the other side, uh, that one actually does have a swimming pool, uh, does have a little bit of a clubhouse, and I think tennis courts, and that's only about forty five dollars a month. Yeah. so that's one of the cheapest HOAs in the area to offer um, that many amenities. That being said, uh, we did look into that uh, floodplain, right? That's oh, out yeah. there. So did yep. want to mention that. Um, because that's a pro have, tip. Yeah, that's uh, it's in the FEMA flood zone out there. Some of the houses, right? And there's a road that basically, like, off the top of my head, I cannot remember, but cuts yep. basically that one road. Houses on the western side are considered in that flood zone. Definitely. Eastern side are not. And so something to consider, obviously. We might right? grab, yeah, we might grab a, uh, a photo of that to show you. Mm -hmm. And or obviously, is that, if that's something that's an issue, uh, reach out to us, let us know. Being in the flood zone, flood insurance, it's more expensive. Exactly. If you're already looking at the top of your budget and you have to add flood zone, it might push you out of being able to, to purchase uh, a home in the flood zone. Yeah. Um, so lastly then, I guess just sort of going back to the golf course again, right? It is sort of golf course living. It feels a little bit yeah. slower out here as well. You know, you've got your sort of older um, community, I'd say, yeah. in general with people who are either golf course or doing their outdoor thing, right? That ranch style living. Definitely, and it's a good mix too because the homes are so old, um, or some of them quite a bit right from the 70s. Yeah. It's a good mix of, you know, new people moving in, mm -hmm. renovating the place, and then you also have, you know, some of the original homeowners who have been here from the 70s that uh, needs a, a little bit of a, uh, a facelift, if you will. Yeah, and I think that sort of brings us to schools, right? Where 
it's it's a lesser of a uh, family neighborhood. Yep. Not that it's not family friendly, but we see lesser families, I think, living in here. Um, and with that school wise, you've got, uh, why am I blanking here? Hidden Valley, uh, Hidden elementary, elementary School, which is ranked a four out of 10 on uh, great schools. Great schools. We have uh, Pine Middle School, um, I believe is also a four. I think that was a five, I want to say. Five, and then Vaughn was a two. Was it two? And then, so uh, those are your only two middle school options, right? Yeah. After Hidden Valley Elementary, and then it's zoned for Worcester High School, which, which is, is ranked as a three, right? Yeah. So, so school wise, you're not um, top tier, yeah. if you will, out here, but we know that doesn't really matter to a lot of people who are living in this community. Yeah, exactly. So. We've got a, a, yeah, a lot of younger couples that uh, maybe, you know, just starting out with a family. You don't have a family yet. Yeah. Um, a lot of retirees. So uh, some doesn't even matter, but definitely want to give that information. Yeah, we always try to get, you know, again, I still think those schools are fantastic. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. So we those just like to give you the info, those do with it yeah. what you freaking want. <laughs> uh, but we like to right give you all the facts and uh we'll go from there so but yeah i think that's it on this one right hidden valley it uh it's a it. hidden gem it is a hidden gem until next time stay tuned